Welcome back to Riding Bikes in San Diego. Here we are riding on Lake Murray and it has been so gorgeous to ride in San Diego lately. Um, take note of that Amazon truck. It has been so nice to ride in San Diego since the heat broke and also that bus. Um, just every time you're in motion there's a nice cool breeze and if you get sweaty while you're riding along it just feels so wonderful and uh, it's been a real pleasure to ride for the last week and a half or so and um, I'm excited for my commute today and um, and this whole season is just one of my favorites to ride in. One of the things that is so wonderful about riding a bicycle is that you're going a little slower you have more time to observe things like that Amazon truck and that bus and this is not a video complaining about them at all I just want to take note of them because um, one of the things that I'm reminded of when we're riding bicycles is that driving isn't always faster so I see them here at Lake Murray and Baltimore we wait at the light and then about a half a mile maybe a mile later I'm barreling down Lake Murray to get to the 8 and I could see them in the distance. It might be a little more difficult to see it um, for you, but the camera's funny like that with distance. But I could see that yellow school bus out in the distance, and I don't think much of it because I am about to go over this junction that crosses the 8, and luckily it's a very smooth crossing today. It's usually pretty smooth over here. I really rarely ever have conflicts over here. Everybody seems to understand that there's a traffic light on both sides. There's only so much room. We're moving, um, and I mean, I'm moving with the flow of traffic right now. So we get to the other side, and instead of a red light, it's a green light. The space opens up here, and by now, I'm not thinking about that bus and that Amazon truck. Uh, I'm just going to cross over this uh, Alvarado junction here and get on the uphill. And this uphill is a real drag. The pavement is just real horrible quality. But we get about another mile and check this out. Who comes by but that same Amazon truck. And right behind it, that same bus is pulling up. And I don't know. I don't mean to sound so excited. But we are now about two miles away from where we started. And... I just think it's interesting that we're showing up at the same time. I don't think that these buses and this Amazon driver were doing deliveries and pickups and drop-offs. So we were just cruising along on the road. And it's not a particularly slow road either. I mean, we were going down a pretty fast hill, and then I was slogging up a big hill. And um, we weren't following the exact same route. They went 70th and then down El Cajon and then came here to Montezuma. But we meet up in the same place 1.9 miles later. And I just think that that's really cool. And it's something that you notice on a bike. I don't think that these drivers notice that I'm in the same place they were a couple of miles ago and uh, a few minutes ago. But I think that it's just a good reminder that we don't necessarily need cars to get around a city. Sometimes a bike does exactly what we need it to do and gets us around just as quickly as if we were driving and I think that uh, that's worth keeping in mind and I think it's a wonderful thing about biking and being on the commute obviously my commute would be faster if I were driving a car but riding a bicycle there are these little chunks where um, it seems like it just doesn't matter one way or the other the bus turned off this Amazon driver went on and I thought I might catch up to them at College Avenue or somewhere else going down Montezuma, but that wasn't the case. We just had those uh, couple of miles um, in tandem there. So from here, we are just gonna enjoy the ride, drive less, and ride a bike. Thanks.